My recent Colorado pronghorn hunt proved to be one of the most challenging hunts I've ever experienced. It was really challenging for two reasons. One, just stalking within bow range of an animal on a flat prairie, and two, keeping my head about me and keeping a good attitude when day after day I kept blowing anywhere from three to seven stalks per day. Each night I'd get back to my motel and I'd be frustrated. You know, I'd get inside 70 yards, sometimes I wouldn't even get to half mile out and I'd get blown out. But every night I just stayed focused on believing there was going to be an opportunity. Some opportunity was going to open up. I just had to be ready for it. And it was midway through day five, the last day of the hunt, and uh, found that one lone bedded buck all by himself. There wasn't a whole herd with all those eyes. Perfect opportunity. And was able to go down a fence line and keep out of sight, basically behind these small fence posts, until he finally got into view. At that point, I bumped him. He, he moved off a little bit. And rather than just sitting down, I said in my head, just get aggressive, just go after him. And there was a fence post, probably about 10 yards from where he was standing. And I just got the fence post between me and him, and I just went straight at him just go going and going. When he moved this way, I moved that way. Keep that fence plus between us. He wasn't able to see what I was. He saw a little bit of movement, but was curious about it. And that's what allowed me to get within bow range. Anything you can use in the terrain to your advantage, that's the key to successful pronghorn spot and stock. So look around, see what you can use to your advantage, and then take your time. If you do it enough times, you're going to get your opportunity. you got to believe it.